welcome to Bug Boy on the Road in New York City. My name is Bug Boy and I'm here to say I love Krispy Krollies in a special way. So sit back and lend me your ears and let me relax all your insect fears. Word to your bugger. So today we're at the American Museum of Natural History to talk to Dr. Phil Barton about what happens up behind the scenes in the museum uh, on all the exhibits in the entomology department. Something that probably is not going to happen again. <laughs> well, I, I saw your videos. They were pretty awesome. They're inspiring. So I'm, I'm happy to do it. Absolutely. Um, uh, that, there was a brachiosaurus in the upper. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything that would be bigger than it besides the blue whale. So wouldn't it have been like the second largest animal in the world if the dinosaurs didn't go extinct? It's among it, yes. The blue whale, I think, is the very largest. We're going to go up this way. We're going to go up here. And so these cabinets, you see these in a lot of museums, they're filled with specimens, right? So these are actually a lot of different shells and things. So things like, um, you know, uh, maybe clams or oysters or whatever, but every species that's described as a type, and we put those in the cabinet. Yeah, well, they're not going to exist. They're just the actual things when we collect them so we can work on them. But I'll show you a bunch more over here. I'm going to watch you open some cabinets. You can open them and check them out. So we're going to go. What's your favorite insect, by the way? Oh. If you had to uh, pick one. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't have one. No. It was the, it's the assassin bug. The assassin bug? I think we may need to get to those. Really? Um, yeah, I think so. Well, let me turn on the light. Actually. What's you yours? Stay right where you are. What's your favorite? My favorite? Well, I work on ants, so it's probably an ant. It should be, right? Okay. It better be. You're out of trouble. Uh, uh, but there's a lot of ants. There's, there's 13,000 species of ants. It's pretty hard to fix this one. Um, right. You guys stay right where you are back there. I'm just going to take this light off. So all of these, it's sort of like a library almost, all of these are filled with insects, right? So, and if you look at the different names, you can find all the different, um, these are all scientific names with the names that actually show you what's where. Yeah, Hemiptera? Yeah, so Hemiptera, yeah. So if you're interested in assassin bugs, you can go to Hemipterans. I don't know if they're lost or not. Let's see. Go. That's a little bit of a Yeah, see Oh, that's a tricky one. <laughs> um, well, let's just open any of these. Uh-oh, too far. We have to actually move all of these. See if they're all unlocked. Whoa. Is there anything in that last cabinet, in the hallway? Any? Yeah. Uh... Okay, good. <laughs> that's a good answer. No people, right? <laughs> Okay, good. That's cool. So we're going to see, this might actually be locked. I don't have a key for an entrance because I don't work on the group, but we'll see how it looks. So, we open one of these, we see these here. And so on the outside will be one group name and then inside are the other group names. So we can actually open them, pull them out, and then here's a whole bunch of them entrance, right? And this is true of every cabinet, or every drawer, these are drawers or trays in every one of the cabinets that's here. It's just filled with this kind of stuff. So we can open it up. And we look, and then on each of them, so you see, here's the, the name, the genus, and the species. And then in this case, people even put, if it's a male or a female. And then you can see right there on Oh, so there's the same kind? Yeah. There's just the same one's species. a male, one's a species. Exactly, yeah, and they might be a little bit different. Yeah, like the female ones are a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Um, and then right under it, you see that other tag? It's a little bit hard to see. A donation from J.A. Starter. Nice, yeah, that blue one. So anytime it's donated, we actually don't take material unless it has locality information, so where it was collected and then when it was collected. So do you see above that, this tag? What it says there, the date? Uh, so it was November 10th, 1947. Exactly, yeah. And so this collection and all the collections that we have here have things dated back even as far as the 1700s. 
um, <laughs> which is pretty far. So, so these are pretty old insects. They're very, some of them are very old, some of them are very new. Yeah, so we actually only display less than like 0.1% of all the things that are in the museum. Wow. Most of them are in trays and things like this. It's a tricky question, but in a lot of ways, the natural collection or natural history collection is kind of like a library, right? So it's like a reference. So if you go out and you find a thing and you think it's a new species, you'd bring it to this museum and you'd line it up with everybody else and say, okay, is it different enough or what, what's different about it or what's changed about it in maybe 50 years if it's from the set or the 40s or I guess it's 60 or 70 years now. And you can actually tell what's changed about it, right? If you look between the one that you have and then this very old collection. So in that way, we, we use it for that. And then anytime we describe a new species, we put the original, what's like a voucher or the, the original what we call holotype for that species. So if your favorite species is an assassin bug, the very first time somebody found that assassin bug, they actually wrote about it and then they put that specimen in a museum so that we could say this is the original, this is exactly what an assassin bug looks like. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And, and so here we have all of those, not for everyone that's ever been described, but everyone that was described and then deposited here in the museum. Do you want to look at some of the cabinets and see if you find a name you recognize you want to check out? While I put this one back, I gotta put this There's nothing in there, right? This one? No. Okay, good. Thank you for being my spotter. So. <laughs> Damn it. Did you find? Oh yeah, it's right there. So that we should find some kind of assassin bugs here. So try to find a ready via cabinet there. Well, there are plenty here. No, open the. Oh, there you go. Nope, oh, right there. Let's try. Undetermined. Right. Yeah, that's the these are all undetermined. I kind of like undetermined because it means you get kind of a lot of everything. So let's bring these over here. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot of assassin wow. bugs. Assassin bug. Oh my gosh. Whoa. These big wheel bugs. Mm -hmm. You see on the top these that crest they have bugs. there? So some of these actually have a, they can mm -hmm. transmit a disease. Do you know what disease they do? They do. No. Yeah, the kissing, kissing bugs. Oh, yeah. Right? The like kissing, the, they usually spread like parasites, so sometimes it's very. And then uh, Chagas disease, there's a new one. That's... Chagas, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are really cool. Have you ever seen one do it in the wild? Like actually. Oh, like the. Like, Just like videos. videos. Like trap it, yeah. You look careful, they do it all the time. I was surprised. I actually saw one finding myself for the first time. I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was bit by one of those ones. Were I you? had a nasty welt on my neck. Oh, no. Ooh. Where was that? I was like in Davis. I was watching the X-Files and it flew out of nowhere. <laughs> it was so terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> That's really scary. That's Signa, by the way. So Signa works in the clutch. Hi. Hi, Signa. Hi, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Did you, did you see these? Um... Whoa. These are water. Um, These are water spiders. Not water spiders. But they are water bowmen. Yeah. Giant water bugs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know more about bugs than I do. Don't tell my boss. Look at my dog. You know the, the nickname for these? The common name? Yeah, uh, giant water bug. Those, they also call them toe biters. So they will <laughs> bite your toe. <laughs> Some of these are actually from North America, too. Are they? Yeah, these really big ones. Yeah. So we have a fossil. I think it's from the Triassic, which is about 200 million years ago. Oh.